to get all the knots undone. There's a huge amount of water still in the tarp. Had to bail all that out, get it. Anyway, whatever, we're back aboard and uh, got a lot of work planned. Uh, uh, everything shifts, everything shifts from here on out. This is, the interior is pretty much where we're gonna leave it. I did not bring the cushions back down. Uh, those are gonna be worked on up in Vermont. Uh, but in the meantime, what we're gonna do, everything shifts to the outside. And this time, we've got to uh, take the combings off and bed them. Uh, all of the uh, companionway trim is all coming off. That's all got to be bedded. That hasn't been done since the big dry fit when I just got everything done and put it on just with screws. So that's all going to be bedded. On. And uh, so here's something I'm going to do that I've not wanted to do for a very long time. Um, all this has got to be disassembled. Uh, all the work that I did earlier, the, all the woodwork, uh, the companionway trim and the combings and all that, it's all going to be taken off, including the combing blocks, uh, and bedded, and then put home finally. In other words, uh, put into place, all the screws tightened up, bungs put in, all that kind of good stuff. And hey, uh, it's all going to be done. Uh, you can't put this thing out on the water with... Uh, all this in this semi-final state of affairs. And so i uh, going to finally get around to doing this. Um, got a pretty day to do it, but uh, it's just a lot of work. Disassembling first and then uh, uh, getting all the bedding in, uh, everything cocked. Um, anyway, that's my next project. Get her done. Started working, and I was getting ready to put the trail trim on the fantail back here back of the lazarette, that section right there. And I suddenly realized I can't do that until all this stripping is done of the uh, tow rail. The tow rail is in really sad shape. Um, I'm gonna make repairs after the stripping is done. But uh, I decided, you know what? It's gotta be done. And this was one of the things that uh, I'd been putting off because it's not a pleasant thing. But uh, in the meantime, so I, anyway, so I'm all, I'm all uh, taped up all the way from here to amidships. And um, uh, except for the scupper right there, and uh, so I'm all all the way up to here. Uh, but a buddy of mine who had restored a huge, beautiful, beautiful yacht, uh, all wood yacht, had done a lot of stripping, and he su suggested this stuff. Where is it? Where is that container? Okay, right here. It's called Citra Stirp. And uh, sister, you still have to use gloves, okay? And so I made a trip back up to Home Depot and got my got another set of gloves. Left the other ones up in Vermont. So anyway, but he said but this. He said this stuff really works. And I mean, he ought to know. He did a truckload of it when he did that huge yacht. So what what he did, he said this. What you want to do is after you get a nice heavy application of the stuff on there, get yourself a nice big box of uh, this uh, Glad Wrap stuffed cling wrap and just get it plastered on there and just cover it and he said you let that sit and he said what well, it, it just all comes off so we will see uh john buddy uh and he is a real tremendous healer he's written some sailing books and uh i'm taking his word for it so this is our next little experiment um i'm doing the uh the pads here for uh, excuse me uh, for my cleats and my um yeah, winches right now. Uh, these are antique winches. Anyway, I'm getting getting these done first, and then I'm moving to the tow rail. So uh, one thing at a time. Uh, you'll notice, uh, by the way, that the uh, combings are off. Well, there they are. Uh, combings are off and tucked back into the cabin for now. So little by little. This is, by the way, this now is all uh, uh, bedded 
and home, and I don't like the look of it because of the stupid, um, uh, what do they call that stuff? They, anyway, the caulking shows where the where the seams are, but, you know, hey, you you got to do it, you know? And, uh, you know, I it was looked so much nicer before when you didn't have that seam showing there. Anyway, hey, there are concessions to make when you're doing this stuff. So next up, right here, next winch pad uh, port, ready to go. Okay, well, I'm shooting down here in the cabin because it's really early and um, my wife is asleep in the room right next to the boat here. So anyway, as you can see, well, maybe you can't, yeah, we got some really gray skies out there and supposedly got some rain coming in within an hour. So uh, that's not good. <laughs> what I'm going to do here after bed, I'm going to go uh, over to Home Depot. I got to pick up some really coarse steel wool, maybe a scraper. And um, we're going to scrape all the stuff we did the stripper on yesterday, uh, those two winch pads, and to get that all cleaned up. Uh, I think I'm going to try uh, some denatured alcohol and steel wool to do the cleanup on that. And uh, anyway, once that's done, um, I, I just checked it. And where's my seat all? I just, I think I just, well, maybe I left it out in the, out in the uh, carpet. Anyway. I checked my old can of Cetol. It is shot. I mean, I, it's, I don't think there's anything uh, living underneath that heavy, heavy scum of uh, dried up Cetol. So uh, I just checked it. Uh, it's $50 for a quart of Cetol. And oh my goodness, I just have a gag yesterday when I was over at West Marine. But then, wouldn't you know, my brother last night for my birthday gave me a $50 gift certificate to West Marine. <laughs> so that all works. I'll probably go ahead and, and uh, bite the bullet. I, I hate to take $50 and spend it all in one place uh, when my brother gives me that kind of a gift certificate. But anyway, we'll see. Um, yeah, that's probably what I'll do because I, I need it. I'm, I'm going to have to have it because uh, all of the, all the tow rail, all the woodwork out here is going to all have, you know, the, the winch pads. They're all going to have, I'm going to shut up here. Um, they're, they're all going to have um, CETOL on them, you know, to match everything else. Uh, anyway, the, this, see, I've got combings are down here in the cabin, stashed away until after uh, the winch pads are all done, and then everything can be put back and uh, bedded home. In the meantime, the only thing I did yesterday uh, was for bedding was concerned was I got the got the companion way done, and I'm going to throw another coat of Cetol on this. I'm hoping that the Cetol will actually stain the um, this caulking that you see in the seam there, so that it doesn't show as much. But uh, a lot of work, a lot of work. But uh, hey, you got. Uh, Everything ready to go. Got that one little section done back there of, uh, that's all stripped. And I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to get these tow rails completely uh, stripped down and all the new seats all put on those. Um, everything will be matching by the time I get done. So, anyway, good morning. And uh, glad you came aboard, uh, little girl. And I uh, got a good day of work ahead. For this to be an advertisement or anything, but I tell you, I wish I'd known about this stuff, which is Citrus Strip, uh, a long time ago when I was doing the combings. I mean, what a major operation that was with Standard Stripper. This stuff, like I said, that's what I did. I used this stuff on here on the uh, winch pad last night, and I put the uh, put the Saran Wrap stuff on it overnight, and I mean, it just it's just it's powder. It just turns to powder overnight. It's amazing. So now all I'm going to do, and then we'll, we'll test this out in just a minute. I'm going to just take some uh, paint thinner, or brush cleaner actually, is, it works even better, uh, which is a little more than just plain old mineral spirits, uh, and uh, some heavy steel wool, and I'm going to go over this. But I'll tell you, I, I'm, uh, I, my job would have been a whole lot easier had I been using this stuff back in the day when I was spent probably well over 100 hours doing my combings. And... Uh, in the middle of last winter, or two winters ago. So anyway, cool, cool. And uh, we're just getting started. But uh, all of the tow rail, everything's going to be done.
and uh, um, this this uh, winch pad is pretty much done. I got uh, cleats to go back on this afterward. And anyway, moving along, having fun. Got my cup holder mounted and uh, went just really great, perfectly balanced with the rack on the other side. Just two screws way down low, you can't even see them, but uh, perfectly mounted into the bulkhead. And uh, anyway, we're no thanks with that. Uh, actually, this is a very brief new stuff corner. <laughs> Always in this corner. Anyway, um, last trip down, I uh, went to looking at the uh, masthead light and it was uh, filled with water, completely filled. Of course, the mast is horizontal uh, up, on the, up on the racks. And, uh, you know, I, I tried to disassemble it. I tried to get at the bulb. Nothing was working. And so my brother, gave, having given me that uh, uh, nice uh, West Marine card last night, I went out and bought this, 38 bucks worth. This is exact duplicate of the mast headlight that was already on there. Um, and uh, that, which means, by the way, that the mounts are already up there for putting the screws in and just uh, uh, mounting it again. I wished I'd been able to get LED. I didn't even see an LED in the kind of masthead light that I was looking for. I'm sure they're available, but for 38 bucks, I'm re just replacing this. It'll go on just before the mast goes up. So, anyway, brand new, uh, exact reproduction, exact duplicate of the one that was already on there that was so filled with water and uh, I didn't even bother and once I saw that I couldn't disassemble it and replace the bulb I said forget it I'm just getting a new one so anyway uh, at least we got the new one to go on that'll uh, be done a bit later okay so this is an experiment I haven't done this yet gonna have lunch on the boat. Let me get my table out here. Keep nicely stowed under on the starboard quarter berth. And let's see right there. And this comes down very nicely. There's lunch. There's my crank. And we're good to go. Now, see, the cool thing is, I could have made this on the boat, but it's a whole lot easier <laughs> when my mom whips up the tuna fish, and I'm just make my own sandwich and come out here with uh, with one of my mugs, and anyway, I'm just going to enjoy lunch on my boat, and you know, hey, we eat out on the water, but it's still good, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, anyway, and I'll probably end this very quickly because I don't want people to just watch me eating, I mean, that's kind of stupid, but... I mean, I'm just celebrating this because for once I get to do something I don't have, I'm not out with my wife. Normally at lunchtime, I'm out with my wife doing other, you know, running errands, et cetera, et cetera, when we come to the Cape. And the, today she's out doing her own thing and I'm just grabbing lunch on little girl and I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me, even if it's just for a minute. Somehow it tastes better when I'm out here on Little Girl. So we're wrapping it up after having a nice lunch aboard Little Girl here. Um, got this uh, port uh, winch pad done. And uh, I did some back here. Hang on. Uh, back here uh, on the uh, tow rail at the very back. This is the only section I got done yesterday. So anyway, what I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to cease and desist from all the... Uh, the stripping stuff, and I'm pressing on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and buff out the hull for the rest of the time I'm here, by, because by late today I want to be able to put the wraps on this boat, get her all, you know, cinched up and hanging on till next time I come down. Uh, but at least I know where I'm at with this this whole business about stripping the tow rails and all that stuff. It's uh, it's gonna come out great. This is, you know, that really really works. I mean, the Citra strip works super. Um, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and continue with that next time down. But for right now, I think for the rest of the time, I just want to get some work done on buffing out and uh, 
Uh, you know, the thing about doing a project like that, it really kind of gives you an up feeling that you got something accomplished because it looks so good after you get done. Uh, this tow rail thing is a long, tedious project. It's going to take a lot of, uh, a lot of stripping, sanding, uh, you know, putting CTOL on, and so on and so forth. But anyway, that's it. We're going to uh, press on. I may uh, take a few pictures uh, down uh, on the hull below and uh, let you see what we've done so far. Well, night is coming on, and uh, here I am back aboard a little girl. I've just been sitting out here for probably 20 minutes going over all the videos that I've shot while I've been down here for this trip. You know something? Um, <laughs> I didn't even think about where I was. It was just so peaceful and quieting to the soul to be out here and just sitting aboard a little girl. And if it's this quieting and this peaceful, well, uh, She's sitting high and dry next to my parents' house. I'll tell you what, I'm thoroughly going to be looking forward to it when we get her in the water and uh, sit for an evening and just do stuff, you know, do some reading, uh, do some video editing, um, just enjoy the peace and quiet, the solitude. And, uh, hey, it's uh, one of the reasons that when the opportunity came up to get this boat my brother told me about it and i was all excited and i was thinking no nah, i probably shouldn't do it then i reconsidered and by the time i reconsidered and decided yes i definitely want to go ahead and get that boat and restore it and i knew it was only going to cost me a dollar but by the time i made that decision my brother said no nah, i don't know if you should do that and you know i'll tell you what best decision i ever made and i love every bit of the work i'm doing on her I'll be honest, um, there was a time at the beginning of this trip that I get discouraged. I got uh, kind of overwhelmed with all the stuff that I'm ha having to do, everything that still needs to be done. And uh, boy, it, it was a disheartening moment. And uh, anyway, I got my brains back together and uh, we're pressing on. And, you know, this is, it's, it's times like this that confirm that I made a right decision when I went ahead and paid that dollar bill and signed the paper and little girl became mine.